to thank all of you. As uh, Abby Blunt would quickly point out, there have been plenty of recognitions for me, <laughs> and she's doing her job to be sure that I keep that in some balance by representing the other side of the question of how capable I may or may not be. Uh, but uh, glad to be here with all of you. This is, a, th this is a unique committee and the opportunity to be so involved um, all the time and sometimes almost too involved some days, which is the daily operation of the Senate. Uh, it gives those of us who've done management things like the governor and others a chance to have a little bit of that management uh, desire fulfilled, a chance to really work directly with the chief and the librarian of Congress and the director of the Smithsonian and unfortunately the food service companies and the things that are really been complicated the last few years is the visits to the Capitol were dramatically changed when the Capitol building itself wasn't open. But I appreciate uh, your kind words and you know we have served on this committee together uh, both in 2017 and then dramatically in 2017. 21, we were two of the four people that joined first Vice President Biden in 2017 and then Vice President Pence in 2021 to go through uh, the process of uh, certifying the election. Uh, and then only a few days later, two weeks in effect later uh, in 2021 at the exact same location where uh, a great Capitol Police Force and the Metropolitan Police Force had been trying to def defend the Capitol and did defend the Capitol. Uh, we're out there where we should be for the whole world to watch the peaceful transition of power. And from that day, the, I was the chairman of that event and the chairman has some gavels to use that day as necessary. Here's one for you and the basis, the base says the 59th presidential inauguration uh, January 20th, 2021. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, we've, and as you pointed out, we've worked on so many things, it's almost made the work of this committee seamless. We go from two or three different issues we're working on from adoption to travel to visa to commerce uh, all at once. And uh, we've been great friends and I look forward to that continued uh, friendship. Uh, with you and others on the Rules Committee. Um, the, been chairman twice, let's see, I was chairman, then Senator uh, Shelby was chairman, and then I was chairman again, and, and it's been great to work with you in this divided Congress as you become chairman. I know I'm leaving the committee in good hands as uh, Senator Fisher moves into the position of ranking member at the beginning of the next uh, Congress. She's been a member of the Rules Committee uh, since she came to Congress after the uh, 2012 election, and uh, I feel confident that the two of you are going to do great things for the Senate and the people uh, who work here. Uh, one of the most important functions, of course, is our relationship with the police, uh, the Capitol Police, who every member of Congress sees multiple times every day from the moment we walk in. As a matter of fact, usually before we walk in until the moment we walk out of the building and then the moment we're headed away from the Capitol. Um, Chief uh, Manger was hired in the wake of the events of January the 6th. He brought incredible experience to this job, having been the, the chief of the, two of the very biggest neighboring jurisdictions. Uh, I'm eager to hear his assessment of uh, where we are on the recommendations we made and you know that coming quickly with our committee and the uh, other oversight committee and having those hearings having a set of recommendations within uh, just a couple of months really of uh, the time that we started looking at this and I know one of the things we'll talk to the chief today is about is about that also later this afternoon you and I'll, uh, Chairman, you and I'll both be at uh, a uh, uh, event where the uh, 2021 Freedom Award uh, is uh, awarded. The 2022 Freedom Award recipients uh, will be awarded, and that's uh, the Capitol Police and the Metropolitan Police. Chief Manger and Chief Conte will be there to recognize uh, that uh, and accept that that recognition. I think that award uh, was started in 
uh, 20 years ago in 1993. That was the 200th anniversary of uh, George Washington laying the, the cornerstone for the Capitol that would be begun here and was uh, finished a few years later in Washington. But uh, the Freedom Award named for the statue on the top of the Capitol, the Statue of Freedom, and Chief, uh, your officers and the Metropolitan Police officers who arrived immediately when called made an incredible difference that day as they do uh, every day. And uh, Senator Klobuchar and I and the rest of the members of the committee are uh, honored to be able to welcome you here today. And uh, thank you, Chairman. Very good.